And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube uh, for the return of Jeskai Midrange. We played this deck a week ago, and this was a donation deck uh, sent in uh, by a viewer. And we played it a week ago. We went uh, 5 0, and the deck uh, felt really powerful and was pretty fun to play. Uh, we played a league with it before. We're going to go ahead and try it out over in Mythic this time. Um, give it you know, a harder test, see how it, it still holds up. This is, this is very similar to a Jeskai Fires deck, uh, ex except we're not playing Fires of Invention. Instead, we just have um, more cheap interaction um, and just kind of like more, more things to do. Um, and, you know, just, just a, a good combination of cards and just, you know, not really playing Fires of Invention, even though some opponents may expect it. But uh, remember last time that Charming Prince was really good for us because this time we have some really good things to flicker, whether it's Agent of Treachery, of course, that thing's ridiculous to flicker. But then Cavalier of Dawn, Cavalier of Gales, uh, good targets to flicker. Uh, Royal Scions kind of holds it all together with the draw discard. Um, got good interaction with Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant that also turn into threats. Remember, those cards were, were very good for us. And plus, they these two threats hit really hard. You know, like three power and four power. Like those those attack pretty well, especially if you give them plus two, plus zero, and trample. They can end games pretty fast. Um, then you obviously just have Teferi picking everything up, um, whatever you need to. And uh, same with Time Wipe. This is a good a Time Wipe deck. Um, so yeah, let's let's give it another try and see how it does. We'll just play the same 75 we played last week. And let's see how it does. All right, so we're going to go play like four matches over in ranked. Yeah, to fit Yeah, as far as enchantment, yeah, we may need more enchantment hate with fire. Like fires of invention decks are are very popular right now. Maybe we need some more. We have um, Cavalier of Dawn that destroys stuff. Of course, Teferi can slow things down with the bounce. We'll see how this does. Alright, let's give this a try. We'll have Charming Prince be able to scry for us right away. Start digging. Got to hit these land drops. Hmm. So Lotus Fields, a, you know, this is like a, a decent land that you know, like helps us, you know, cast, um, you know, helps us like use all all the different colors of mana for. Um, for Kenrith, but then, you know, it can help us cast, like, the White Cavalier, the Black Cavalier. But un unfortunately, this is just not a spot for Lotus Field. Let's slow this down. This might be a bad idea. There we go. That's more like it. Well, uh, yeah, I was kind of assuming. Um. Yeah, like, uh, you know, we only had the two lands with our with our keep, sure, but, you know, we got twenty six in the deck. We were on the draw. So I think we we're on the draw. We also we had the charming prince to to really scry and set it up too. No, I am not making this up as I go.
show remorse, I'll show respect. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I wouldn't mind something that like shuffled my library, like a fabled passage. Win. We have one in here. Because, you know, we'll try to keep on hitting lands, but I really wouldn't mind looking for this Agent of Treachery, especially with the extra Charming Prince in hand and everything. I've got it. I'm just going to keep all these lands. I don't have I'm not gonna have a good turn this next turn though. No, I'm definitely not having a good turn this next turn. Oh no, yeah, they're they're everybody else who plays just guys playing fires, especially they're playing these cavaliers, like they were yeah, they were certainly a fires deck. Yeah, I guess I should have just double Bone Crusher there, Bone Crusher, take the four, and then play to fairy. Yeah, I guess that would have been a, a pretty good option. Okay, so let's see. So we're going to be kind of turning more into a control deck. Nope, nope. Haste, yeah, haste attackers. Pretty rough. We gotta stop. We gotta stop fires of invention. That was just pretty rough with us just not not hitting the land drops. Obviously, we gotta do that. Gotta do that. I don't remember if we played against Fires of Invention the last time we played this deck. I think we played against a lot of creature decks, which is very good for us. I 
All right, we'll take the veto. Yeah, this would be a good matchup for Justice Strike for sure. Oh, did, did I have Justice Strike in the sideboard and I just didn't bring it in? Guess I was looking at other cards and I just missed it. So that's a risk putting that land to the bottom because we need the, the triple blue for the Cavalier. But where we we're at with drawing the card off the op, plus drawing a card for turn and, and everything, I thought that we were a good chance that we were going to be drawing more lands. And. And therefore, uh, if we're going to be drawing more lands, I want to have. I don't. I don't want to just flood out. Like I want to find other things to do besides playing lands. Wow. They could have mystical disputed and kept their Teferi and decided not to. Wow. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, right, they can't counter Veto. That's why. Duh, Dovin's Veto can't be countered. <laughs> Forgot about that part. Sorry. I'm silly. Yeah, Veil of Summer made people forget. Veto can't be countered. So I took the Aether Gust, of course, to make sure that we didn't just... Um, get, you know, Fires, Cavalier, Red Cavalier, all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I kind of like all these cards. Maybe I just don't need this extra land.
Ah, uh, they found the untapped red. Darn. There goes the Royal Scions. The upkeep scry and leave three lands. Looks like they may just be really flooding out. All right, come on, Gales. Finish it out. You can do it. Close. Good thing we drew this Castle Ardenvale. Okay, going to game three. Yeah, you're about to play the Cavalier Gales when you had Narset on the board. Yeah, that card is pretty bad against Narset. I mean, it's so. I mean, honestly, the Red Cavalier is not that great either. All right, let's see what we got. Doesn't really seem like Brazen Borrower is that great here. It's like, what do I really want to be bouncing back to their hand? I don't want to bounce the Cavaliers back to their hand. Bounce the Fires. I guess it's just probably worse than Ether Gust. I'm going to take those out. I'm going to play the Fairy Time Twist and play another Ether Gust. <laughs> yeah, that was real close. Lots of white mana. I don't really want to put a sixth land on top. This early. I cast the opt first because I wanted to get value from the, the temple. I mean... 
I don't think Fae of Wishes would be very good in our deck. Honestly. Okay. So they did not play Fires there. I wanted to have Ether Gust available if they did play Fires. But they did not. And I, I want to play, start dropping these five drops afterwards. <clears throat> so I tried to sneak in the Teferi, but that didn't work out. Yeah, that didn't work out. Should have just been more patient and hit land drops and just continue to pass. Too much red and white mana, not enough blue. Just too big of a waste to just play Ether, Ether Gust. I don't have any good lines. All right, so they just have more fires in their hand. So my thinking of, of waiting was I wanted them to make their decision with Ether Gust first where they didn't know about the Teferi, but obviously that was just that just didn't work. Obviously. Here we go. That was my thinking, is I wanted them to make that decision with Ether Gust before they knew about Teferi, but obviously if I would have played Teferi first then they couldn't borrow her. So that didn't work. Yeah, I understand. My thinking was wrong, but that, I'm just telling you what I was thinking of why I waited, why I, I ordered them in that route. But my thinking, but it was incorrect. Trust me, I have a plan. I just, I just still like all these turns. I, d I don't have good, I just don't have good plays.
No, because with Fires of Invention in play, they can't play spells during my turn. So if I just play the Teferi first, they can't play in response to the Teferi because the Fires of Invention keeps them from doing that. And then I then I move the fire afterwards, and then they still can't play stuff because of the because of the Teferi. This is why I didn't have to play. I need to find Agent of Treachery. Oh, we're dead. That's lethal. All right, Fire's Mirror, our deck does, did not look very good. You're like in, in the Jeskai Mirror, it looks like the Fire's decks look a lot more powerful. Okay, yeah, no, there's no Justice Strikes in here. All right, taking out two of the Ether Gods for two Disenchants. Because, like I said, the, the last time we played this, Oko was legal. I don't think we need as many Ether Gods anymore. I think having Disenchant is more important right now. So we're going to change that. Yeah, this this is a good planar cleansing metagame. All right, Jeskai fires again. There's so much Jeskai Fires right now. This is why I think I think Simic Flash is just being really underplayed. And also the reason why I kind of need more blue. And also the reason why I have Simic Flash up here. Because I think that the people really need to be playing more Simic Flash. I think it has a a good fires matchup, so I want to try that out. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I would expect Simic Flash to have a very good fires matchup. Yeah, quench. Yeah, they can. If fires is in play, they can. They can just tap their two lands for the quench. So no, it doesn't work very well. I guess I need to look at my deck list. I kept that Fable Passage on top to go grab a blue source, and I guess I only have one island in the deck. I did not look at the, the deck list beforehand. Well, that was a bad decision. Obviously.
Let's be honest, this is over. What? I'm not doing anything here. We don't need to show my opponent more of my deck. Conclave to Tribunals could be better than Prison Realm to be able to exile fires. Yeah, it could be. I don't really like enchantments in this matchup at all anyway. Yeah, there's 26 lands in the deck. <laughs> yeah, these opening hands today. Hey, Nefer. Thank you so much for that sub. I appreciate that. I don't think we're winning on four cards. If our top four cards are lands... We could win this. It's obviously not a very high probability of that, but I think there's a better probability than winning on winning on four. Hasn't worked out so far. This isn't a fight you can win. You're correct. We'll see how we do here. Okay, knights. So not fires. So the, the plan is Lotus Field on turn three. Maybe I need to... I guess maybe I just need a Bone Crusher Giant. 
Which means I'm paying two life when I didn't need to. I feel like I should probably kill that thing. Thanks, Black Waltz. Good luck as well in your next match. So they likely have the 3 1 flash creature. This is a good time to play Lotus Field. But also I could try, I could play the temple to try to look for a sweeper. Either either one of them are like basically tap lands. I guess we'll just go with the temple so we get to scry and look for a sweeper. No, I don't, Sangriel. I did have the 3-1. Question was, do I have any physical MTG card that has a special place in my heart? Not... Not really. Um. Maybe, maybe I should have kept... Okay. Good. Glad I didn't keep that. Uh, 2-2. So we have to draw a sweeper here. Alright, so now we have four Clarion, four of the big sweepers now. Four, we only had two and four. We'll get a couple of Decree, a couple of Aether Gust. Could play Disenchant for uh, Ember Cleave. What's really my plan against Ember Cleave if I don't play Disenchant? This is probably just Cavalier of Dawn. Now we're playing Cavalier of Dawns. I haven't seen that card. I think I'm taking out to fairy, drawn from dreams. Yeah, I'm gonna take out drawn. So I've turned five sweeper this time. Let's turn two Charming Prince.
All right, I like that. I don't like that. Really don't like that. More things I don't like. Ugh. So this is not... It's not a sweeper for next turn, but it's a sweeper for the turn after. I think that's okay with my opponent only having the two lands. I think we can survive this. Just want to make sure that we can... Um, that we can cast the Sweeper. Trying to stay alive. So now you know, like we can we can stop pick the fervent champion, play the bone crusher giant, pick the bone crusher back up with the time wipe. Or actually, I'm just gonna stop this thing right now before they get to activate that. Just have the two mana. You'd think we'd be able to hold them off at just the two mana, but I don't know, it's really close. All right, so that'll let us um, let us have life link next turn.
This is my only way to play that and still have a blocker. Because I had to use all my white mana there. You should try out Nissa and Grow Spiral. I'm not too big on the... Okay, I'm not too big on those... I could see Grow Spiral. I don't really like Nissa that much. That was a crazy game. Pona came very, very close to killing me when they were on the draw and only had two lands the whole time. Stay, still came very close to killing me. So let's see how this goes. Gonna play another Charming Prince and Teferi on the draw. I'm gonna turn the Brazen Borrowers that, that do bounce a creature that gets Ember Cleaved, but that's kind of about it. We need to draw red mana for Clarion, but I don't think we Mulligan, turn two, Devout Decree with potential Clarion on three. We obviously need to draw the red land, though. That hurts. They're stuck on two lands again. That's eight damage. All right, do they finish this out? Hopefully not. All right, glad we have this Bone Crusher Giant because it's likely they play. They have the three one. Yep, they did. <laughs> We're trying to just stay alive. How do I choose the decks? Just. Uh, basically, you know, if I have donation decks, I, I get to those, but otherwise just decks that I feel like playing, and then also just decks that are kind of different. I don't want to play, like, the same, the same colors and everything. So, so I can see, like, Abzan, Jeskai, Mono Black, Simic, you know, Mono Red, like, we're playing different colors all the time. I feel like I should maybe keep the Deafening Clarion because of the lifelink ability with it. I should probably keep that one. Oh, I can't even cast Cavalier. So I guess I gotta just rely on Bone Crusher Giant if they have another 3 1. Another Black Lance Paragon. I guess that's all I got right now. Alright, good. No Black Lance Paragon. Yeah, I was worried about that. Darn. I saw that card last time. That's why I wanted to play the Cavalier first and get the lifelink with the Cavalier first before playing this Bone Crusher Giant, honestly. 
but I couldn't just die to a Black Lance Paragon either. Hey, Sharkson, thanks for the tier one sub. Thank you so much there. Dang, we started today at like number 20. But going one and seven, we're down to like 800. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and move on to our next deck. 0 and 3. Not great. Not great. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like like I said, last time we played this deck, we went 5-0, and it, and it felt really good and everything. Um, not so much today. It was just... It just felt really clunky, and yeah, draws didn't work out. Um, I don't know, just nothing, nothing worked too well. I don't really have. That's about it here. Uh, no, I'm not, sir. M. Um, but yeah, that's so. That's it here for Jeskai mid range. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just didn't. Nothing really worked. So as far as like little things to change, I don't know. Nothing worked, so. Um, yeah. Definitely felt a lot less powerful than the, the Fires of Invention Jeskai decks. Played a couple of those. Ours felt a lot less powerful than that. But, oh well, uh, there's always next time. Just, um, yep, that's about it. All right, so if you're watching on YouTube, um, don't forget to hit the, that like and subscribe button over there. Of course, feel free to leave comments. And, of course, check out the Patreon page uh, if you like my videos want to help support my content over there. It's just $3 a month. Um, but thank you so much for watching some Jeskai Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.